line up here. It's four o'clock. We bumped a buck right below us. He made his way out. We got the scope on him. He's about 95 inches. Nice four point, probably three year old deer. The type of deer we want to let mature. Good genetic, so that's a good start, man. We just we haven't even started glassing, so. Not quite big enough. It's pretty cool, though. Go back over here and do some glass. It's a pretty exciting way to start a show. We hadn't even been up on this hill for three minutes, and the other guy spotted a deer right below. It's pretty cool, little buck. We, uh, I, you know, this ranch is pretty cool. It's got some of these higher knobs we can get up do some glassing. You know, we've got a little advantage where we can shoot some distance, so we're gonna glass, you know, out to that eight, 900 yard range and try to pick out some of these bigger bucks that live in these cuts. Sun's just barely starting to come up. We're gonna get over here on this point. There's a good uh, valley just right back there. Sounds like they've been seeing some good deer in there the last couple weeks, so we'll give it a shot. spotted a deer down off the ridge about 1200 yards really good three by four got his g2 splitting you know, it's a long way off but you know he's between 100 and 105 um, but we don't know what else he's got going on so we're gonna get over there and see if he's a little better than that but we need to go find Aaron first Darren. <laughs> there he is. Couldn't find the camera. Oh, I got a good deer. Damn. Go get a better look at him. Cool. Pass that over. We found Darren. He's working the camera again. Back in business. Oh, do you want your back, back, back? <laughs>
way too brush here right here. I can't find a spot to shoot. Even with that sitting rest, I don't think I could get over this canopy down here. When this when you're on the floor, it's just way too tall. Plus we're on the over the crest of the ridge and it's sloping down, it'd be hard to shoot prone anyway. I'm gonna circle back around this way. See if I can't find a spot that's just a little more open. Give me a little better advantage to shoot. up just squeeze it off that wind I went ahead and gave it two minutes that's uh, that's what the rangefinder was calling for 10 mile an hour hey my heart is pounding that happened quick <laughs> oh hey that's the most excited I've been for a while I mean my heart never skipped a beat yeah yeah that is a good deer that wind has been crazy we've been sitting here debating which is nice for the last hour about you know how much wind we're gonna hold, which way he was pointing, how much we we're gonna cheat the wind just a little bit. And uh, we held for a 10 and uh, smoked him, dropped him, two minutes. That's uh, 10 inches, you know, 11 inches of wind up there. And as small as these coos deer are, that's, uh, that's a hit or a miss. So, put him down. Sonora Darkhorn, Raul uh, uh, giving us the opportunity to come down here and chase some mule deer and some coos deer and. Uh, we just ended up on an awesome sheep hunt that we were both successful on. Uh, this is a first class operation and uh, I can't wait to come back next year. What you were seeing right here, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 No. Look at the mass. Four, four, two. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dave's a good guy. Got us right on him. Put him down. Yeah. Good shooting. Nailed him, brother. <laughs> right on. Good deal. Dude, if you ain't smiling from ear to ear on this deer, you're crazy. That thing is a tank. <laughs> <laughs> 